In today's video we will be sending a Kerbal in the low orbit around Moon, so let's get into it. We will be building the Science Orbiter. This is actually the craft that we have already used in the episode, I believe it's episode 5 if not, I'm not mistaken of this playthrough, or 4, uh, with the only one exception. The reason why we couldn't this send this previously to the uh, to Moon was because we didn't have enough life support and unlocking a life support tanks in this uh, in the end of the previous episode we have gotten some science so we could unlock the life support module uh, small tank 0.625 which we're gonna be stuffing in here so life support so 0.625 life support supplies we're gonna be placing two and one waste container and that's gonna give us the autonomy for I think 30 ish days if we count then I'm gonna be putting a ladder which will help my Kerbals go out and hopefully or actually my scientist I'm thinking I'm probably gonna take Joey who is one of my uh, one of my patrons and uh, we're gonna take him out so that he can reset the science hopefully all right then we're gonna be replacing the two SRBs with the liquid fuel because well they can actually provide I mean the same amount of thrust if not less but the thing is they will be at the same time connected by fuel lines to the main stack so at the same time they will be providing thrust while fueling the main stack and that's kind of important at least here in KSP those things is actually are, are very very useful okay do we have the fuel lines come on fuel lines yes connect them there we go let's auto strut everything and I think that actually makes our rocket ready for the launch no need to dilly dally too much about it all right, there we go. Auto strut everything to the heaviest part. I think we are ready. Oh, I would just want to be placing some more science experiments, namely the antenna, and uh, I'm gonna be connecting the abort button to basically a decoupler. Yeah, there we go. Okay, fair enough. It's queued for the launch, and we it's science orbiter three moon rated because it's rated to moon so now also i have extra hundred science and i'm going to use it to unlock the eva stuff which will also give us the eva pack so that we can go out and do a little bit more spacewalks all right getting ready igniting the engines and let's go there we go and lift off we have cleared the tower beautiful I really enjoy playing with launch clamps, it really gives me that feeling of, okay, we have a launch tower that we need to clear, and it looks kind of cool. And this rocket, although it's pretty basic, we have our Stian, who is uh, my YouTube member, Stian Storingen, uh, and Joey, as I said, who is the, the scientist de jour, who will be performing the resets of the science equipment and ensuring that we get actually a boatload of science. Yes, that will be really important. So, Stian and Joey, thank you for going out. Look at that rocket going through. Everything I've put is actually two and a half times accelerated. So if it looks a little bit accelerated, it's because it is. I like my to keep my episodes snappy, full of action and fun. So I accelerate things a little because I think it's actually worth it. Right, Stian and Joey, we are climbing. We have. Our apoapsis is already above the atmosphere. We're just going to go for the standard 100 kilometer uh, apoapsis. And then we're going to be putting up our regular maneuver node. As you can tell, we have our communication network set up and ready. And it's working and it's beautiful. Uh, it's not the best. I'm sorry to say I haven't built it for perfection. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you will tell me, you know, ground works. It's not an ideal triangle. I don't care. At this point, it is actually really, really simplistic and it needs to do its job. However crappy it does it. All right, so 800 meters per second to burn and we have burn time of around 30-ish seconds and then we will be orbital. As soon as we decouple that, we will have 1000 of 287 meters per second in the second stage. But 
We're still not done yet. We should probably do and correct the orbital alignment at the descending node to ensure that our orbital inclination is 0 0.1 or 0 if possible. And that will ensure that we actually get a nice, that we are on the same plane as the moon and it will secure us a nice little encounter. All right. There we go. Beautiful. And the burn will be in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. Oh, that's it. Yep. All right. And now let's set moon as a target and let's get to the moon. By the way, guys, for those, those of you that are wondering how you get to the moon, well, there's, that's it. All right. Okay, let us make a simple transitional maneuver and I'm also looking for the periapsis which will ensure us almost like a free return. Not fully to Kerbin, but I'm actually aiming that we still hit the low above moon biome. Okay, the burn will be in 50 seconds and it will be a total of 842 meters per second. We have more than enough. We will have 700 meters per second once we actually get there. Let's enjoy the burn. There we go. And we are now on our second stage and look at this. Amazing, right? 300 meters per second to burn and then let's just check how it looks on the map view. We are pushing our apoapsis further. I'm just going to reduce the throttle a little bit so I don't overshoot, which is my typical problem. I do tend to overshoot things, so yeah. Okay, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and stop. There we go. Our, okay, periapsis at the moon is 31 kilometer, which is a little bit high, but we can always do a correction once we come into the moon's sphere of influence. Let's just set up our antenna to be targeting Kerbin so that we do have a feedback loop if we want to send science and let us enjoy the beautiful transition as we go towards the moon. This is really a nice screenshot and honestly, this never gets old. I mean, guys, I know it's 2023 and we are going to get the KSP-2 soon enough, but I'm still enjoying KSP-1, what can I tell you? I cannot wait for the KSP-2, but I'm still enjoying the KSP-1. Right, okay. Let's see, uh, crew report, we can do some more experiments, nope. Okay, electricity is depleted. Yeah, that's a little bit of a concern because we are in the shade and I am worried if our life support will be running out. I'm still performing the experiments as much as I can. That's why I actually can uh, go and remote control this if necessary. Okay, SAS on. We are in the moon sphere of influence. So I'm just gonna quickly accelerate the time a little bit until we get some light. Oh. There we go, and that means we have now electricity, which means we have control. So I'm burning uh, a little bit retrograde, or actually I should probably burn radial inwards to reduce the periapsis between 15 or around 12-ish, and that will secure that we do hit the in-space low above moon. Good. Uh, hold on, I think I should probably turn the solar panels like that. Good. And let's turn on the lights because, well, I like it. Alright, coming really close above moon. There we go. Uh, let's point the radial out. It will make for a nice cinematic. There is no mission reason why we should do that apart from it looking really cool. Alright. There we go coming in. We have one more materials bay and one more mystery goo, which we can actually do. Let's do a crew report. In space low above canyons. Science Junior, store that. Mystery goo, store that. Canyons, far side crater, once, once again. Crew report. And then I'm gonna be taking Joey on an EVA. Joey, are you happy, buddy? Okay, yeah, sure. Look at that, beautiful. Now, if that ain't screenshot for the episode, and I don't know what is. Right, collect a lot of crew reports, because crew report is biome specific, so I'm just spamming it as much as I can. The, the moment I hit another biome, the moment I immediately hit the crew report. So hopefully we have gathered enough science and we can go and 
you know, perform our flyby and go back to Kerban. By the way, guys, if you find this episode funny, informative or entertaining, I would kindly ask you to hit that like button. It helps me out a great deal. And also, if you want to be seeing more of my adventures, why not subscribe? All right. So thank you very much for doing either one of those. All right. So Stian and Joey are slowly finishing their flyby of the moon and we will be doing the saying bye-bye to the moon. You know, after doing the flyby, you do the bye-bye. Well, huh, imagine that. All right, so we're gonna go back and after we leave the moon, we should be returning back to Kerbin. All right, let's focus on Kerbin. What do you think, guys? Will we get a good re-entry? Okay, the periapsis is a little bit on the high side, like 461 kilometers. So I'm going to burn, you know, a little bit to create a maneuver node that's going to secure us a nice periapsis of, let's say, between 35 and 40-ish. So 40-ish would be nice. Okay, let's maneuver, do maneuver prograde, 344 meters per second to burn. We have 682, which is more than enough. So we're just going to perform the burn and bring that periapsis down so we don't forget it. All right, and okay, a little bit less lower thrust. 41, that looks good enough to me. Okay, time to enjoy the show. Okay, do we do a, an EBA report? Well, we already had it, so guys, you can return back to Kerbin knowing that you were the first two Kerbals that have ever visited Moon. At least in this playthrough, otherwise I have loads of them. All right, so, <laughs> yeah. We're gonna do the deceleration and 20 meters per second, decouple, and now let Sir Isaac Newton take the wheels. All right. Oh, and yeah, of course, the deadly re-entry is killing that part. I mean, I don't play with that really re-entry, I'm playing with stock. And look at that beautiful sunrise. Oh my god. Honestly, guys, I didn't plan this, I didn't expect this, and now if we would get the KSC behind it, that would be just marble. Wait, is that KSC at the back? Ooh, it is. Ooh, you don't say. Honestly, guys, I didn't plan for this. I never expected this, but it's awesome. It's funny how sometimes Lux gives you, hands you a nice, you know, card. It would be a marvelous if we could have landed at the KSE, but the, the gods of physics were against it, so I'm okay with it. We do get a beautiful backdrop for our return, so I'm not complaining. Okay, the parachutes are deployed and we are coming in at a nice gentle pace of, I think, two, three, four meters per second and splash down. Dippy -de dippy. Okay, after some finagling, we managed to get back and we have a total of 300 science and some wonderful Kerbans. Congratulations, Stian and Joey. You are the first guys there. And also, guys, in the next one, we will be doing some polar satellites.